I was at the Wawa the other day, and uh, I try to limit my going out of my den anymore, primarily because I can afford to. I'm very fortunate. But when I go out, you know, Wawa is usually on my radar. I need to get some dip, man. I got to get some skull, you know, some other sins, maybe some energy drinks. And I remember one day, and a lot of times, when, excuse me, when I'm in there, if I'm, if I, you know, times are hard. Times are hard. So if I moved to, like one time, uh, this little boy, I don't know, six something, d diligently held both doors open for me. <laughs> Going into the wall. One and then the other, this little boy. In front of his mother and me. So I waited a little while while I was in the store and I, you know, I went over and found him and I handed the boy $10. Crumpled it up a little bit so he couldn't see the dollar amount. I handed it to him in front of his mother. And I said, here, this is for you. You have very good manners. And I rewarded it. I reinforced this young boy's behavior. There's positive reinforcement. There's negative reinforcement. Lord knows I got a lot, a lot of negative reinforcement, primarily from my father. You stupid son of a bitch. You'll never amount to anything. Quote, unquote. Perhaps I added the uh, never amount to anything, but I can certainly swear to this, you stupid son of a bitch. How many times did I hear that from my father? Usually drunk, because he was always drunk. Yeah, Dr. Lasser, Dr. Howard Lasser, he's probably gone by now. I, I couldn't visit him at the end because of the COVID. You know, uh uh, man's in his 90s. Small man, diminutive in stature. The consummate gentleman. He really was a gentleman. His father apparently done good during the Depression. You know, some people made out in the early years, I guess. I'm told my grandfather made a killing. I never met him. Uh, he did very well with a chicken farm during the hard times. I guess people got to eat. I only know that his second wife got everything. Am I bitter? Nope, don't care. That was then, this is now. Yeah, Howard's father did pretty good in the market, believe it or not. Very well. I can only assume this because the last years of Howard's life, he's been living over in Woodbridge in a senior citizen uh, retirement home with a an HOA of like $4,000 a month. I mean, it's some ungodly, it's some stupidly godly amount of money. You know, a membership dues. So yes, affluent people retired there. And I gotta believe most of that money come from his dad. Howard's a fine man, but he didn't. He ain't made no money like that. Not this kind of money I'm talking about blowing now at four grand a month or whatever the hell it is. In addition to everything else, just for your, your dues. But his father, uh, I'm told, was, uh, was a fair man. He wasn't, he wasn't afraid to give. He took on this boy I guess it was one of Howard's friends who wasn't as uh, privileged as, say, Howard was. And he took on this boy and he starts to put him through college. Just because. That's nice, isn't it?
Please don't mistake kindness for weakness. Now I can say it. I can say it till I'm blue in the face and you're probably gonna do it at some point. You're going to mistake kindness for weakness. Because you're a predator by nature. It's in your wiring. Especially I'm speaking to the men. And by God, if you smell blood, it's just too tim it's just too irresistible. You're gonna go back to that well. And you're gonna ask for walking around money. From the benefactor who's putting you through college. You're gonna to go to this man and you're gonna ask for you're not gonna ask for a job. A way to earn your keep so you can get a little spending money. You're gonna to go to this source, this fountain, and you're gonna ask for you're just gonna ask for walking around money. The boy mistaked kindness for weakness. And the father cut this boy off instantly. Boom, done. No more college, nothing. And he did that boy a favor. That boy doesn't realize it in the moment, but that old man did him a favor. Because that's one lesson that kid only got to learn once. It's one of the seven deadlies, you know. Greed. It's like lava. It flows out of the volcano and down the mountainside and just consumes and burns and scorches everything it touches. Greed. Ooh. What's that asshole, Anthony? What's his name? The uh, Silence of the, the Lambs, where he does that fava beans or something, and he goes like it's delectable. I love Hollywood. The devil's spyglass, it really is. Yeah, Dr. Lasser was a fine man. He may still be alive. I don't know. I've broken off. It's been a while. He was one of the prune juice crowd. And so I guess the thing I'm imparting to you from this story is do not mistake kindness for weakness. Weakness. 